What is up guys? My name is Deft and welcome to a commentary. No gameplay here. All I'm, all I'm looking at is just a list of notes of things I want to make sure I cover in this 2018 update video. I was meaning to upload this the uh, first Sunday of the new year, but unfortunately with uh, work keeping me busy and all sorts of family stuff and uh, all sorts of crazy weather, I uh, didn't really find the times, but uh, here we are now. Going to be putting this up the second Sunday of the new year, which isn't too late. But I'd like to tell you guys uh, sort of what my New Year's resolutions are for the channel. I know it seems a little cheesy, I'm sure lots of people do this, but I uh, feel the need to let you guys know what direction I want to take my channel in for the upcoming year. Instead of just uploading videos, you know, on, on, on my usual sort of weekly schedule, I want to include holidays, I want to, you know, do all sorts of cool new stuff this upcoming year. I want to spice things up. And uh, for, I guess I guess first first point of order is I'd like to uh, make sure I get some holiday stuff out. That's something that I wanted to do last year, but I didn't quite. For this year, I would like to uh, get some holiday videos up. Come Valentine's Day, I'd like to see if I could uh, grab Shanks and continue Nekopara. No guarantees on that. We'll see. He's a very busy man. I definitely like to do uh, some some scary games in October. And um, heck, if anything, if I uh, you know can't find a game that's sort of a theme of a certain holiday, or it's like a smaller thing, and I'm not sure really what I would play, then I guess I could just do an edit. You know, I want to get back into editing. I absolutely will be uh, doing some more edits this next year. I am I am ready to edit. I mean, I have been doing some that you guys just haven't seen that have been up on the uh, U6 channel. And maybe I should mention that. I don't know if I made an announcement on my channel that I joined uh, U6, but. I, uh, I did post a bunch of edits that I did for them, and, uh, well, I was thinking I might upload my part of the Christmas team Taj to my channel, but I didn't end up doing that. I think it's a little late now, but, uh, yeah, I did edit a little less than half of the Christmas Taj. There were four parts, and, uh, I did, uh, about two, because we did split one part, but I did do the majority, but, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, check out, uh, the, the sniping team that I'm leading, Unforgiven Six. But now, to, uh, to get back on track, get back on track to knock some of these points out before this commentary gets too long. I do have plenty of gameplay saved, so hopefully, uh, <laughs> you know, I can keep this at least under 10 minutes. And I'm sure I can pick whatever gameplay is sort of closest to uh, the length that this commentary turns out. But So, uh, first point of order, I have a new setup. I've upgraded my setup a decent amount in the past couple weeks. Uh, with one thing, I moved everything around, though that isn't uh, too big a deal. Because I didn't really have to get anything new to do that, though I did get some new stuff, and that was the reason that I moved stuff around to better adapt them into my setup. Because my setup was pretty uh, rickety to begin with, but now I have a pretty, pretty sweet makeshift professional setup. I'd, I'd call it somewhat professional, because I got a desk set up now. I'm sitting here at a desk. I recorded a desk. Everybody usually does that. I was previously, you know, recording. I was previously recording how most people play their games, just sort of having their TV up on a dresser. And uh, sitting on their bed or a chair, but now I'm I'm sitting at a desk because uh, the first new piece of my setup is I got a monitor, got a professional gaming monitor that I uh, direct all my games to, my PS3, my PS4, everything's hooked up to it, and I just have that sitting on my desk, and I uh, get to sit at my desk, I don't have to move around. Previously, when I uh, wanted to record PC stuff, I would move all my stuff over to my desk and then record over there, and uh, go back to the dresser where my TV was to record all the console stuff, but now I can do it all in the same spot. Don't have to move. It's nice and convenient for me. And uh, the other new piece of my setup is I got the uh, Hopage HD PVR 60 to record PS4 in 1080 60. I know that some of my videos previously were rendered in 1080 60, but they were not recorded in 1080 60. They were either recorded in uh, 1080 30 or 720 60, because that's what my old PVR was capable of, and I wasn't really sure because it gave me a different uh, input frame rate than uh, what the output frame rate was. So turns out I was not recording in 1080-60 as uh, the input was, or 720-60 as some games are capable of. Not all games are capable of 1080p. I'm actually looking to get an adapter to be able to hook up the 1080-60 to the PS3. So the games that are 1080 capable, I can record in 1080, which would be pretty nice. But uh, in the meantime, I don't think it's too bad to... Uh, I record everything in 72060. 72060 is not bad at all. But uh, that is all the adjustments to my setup, I believe. So I guess next up for uh, the direction of my channel in 2018 is that I'm going back to Call of Duty. 
you guys haven't seen Call of Duty videos in a while, and that's what I started out with. I started out as sort of a primarily Call of Duty YouTuber, and then I extended out into Let's Plays, and then I just liked them so much that I became a Let's Player. I'm still planning on staying a Let's Player, but uh, definitely adding some Call of Duty in there. For those of you who like to see that, I know that a lot of you guys are subscribed for the Call of Duty stuff that I put out. I know that the Call of Duty stuff definitely gets more views than some of the Let's Plays, and so I'm planning on going back. I've already recorded some! of a bit of a new series that I plan on doing. I call it a series, it's not really, but it's just a way of keeping things organized. Uh, those of you guys who, who know me know that I like to keep things organized into playlists and makeshift series, even if it's not really a series. I just like to sort of give a name to everything so I can have a banner to put it all under. But yeah, so I've already gotten some recording done, hopefully that'll turn out alright. I, uh, I was playing some World War II for you guys, knowing that that is the, the hot new COD game, though uh, once I've played that a decent amount, I, w I will... Uh, bridge out into the older Call of Duties. That'll be interesting, because I haven't played any old-gen Call of Duties for a while. I've just been staying on next-gen, because I'm just so used to it. But then again, I could plug my PS4 controller into my PS3. Though I do remember having a problem with that at some point. I don't remember what it was, but I guess I'll find out when I try. Anywho, last point of order. Last thing that I've mentioned before, that I've mentioned a couple times, that I'm going to try and get into, that I have yet to, and that is live streaming. For those of you interested in whether or not I'll be doing live streams in the future. I, I've been planning on it. I have. I just haven't really found the proper time or uh, way to do it because, uh, as some of you guys know, my PS3 can get really noisy and it uh, definitely damages my audio quality. I don't want to do a live stream where you guys have to listen to this high-pitched sound just droning on in the background, and that is why I do not do any... I'm not planning on doing any live streams on PS3 unless I can change my setup to where I can get the PS3 as far away from me as possible as to and where that will not affect me because I have cleaned my PS3. I have opened it up and cleaned all the dust out of it and it's still after a half hour the best I got was like 45 minutes before it just started whirring and it it is not pleasant to listen to. However now that I can record next gen uh, comfortably in fact uh, touching on next gen the reason why I wasn't doing next-gen videos is because I couldn't hear because I, I couldn't find a way of running the audio to my ears and still be able to record the audio because of the way that the PS4 only allows output to one device at a time. However, now that I have the gaming monitor, I can simply plug my headset directly into the monitor if I want. What I do is I, um, I have a uh, USB adapter for my headset that I can plug a, uh, an aux cord into and so I run an aux cord from the monitor to the USB and that way it uh, gets right into my headset and that way I'm able to hear the game and record the game at the same time because I'm not plugging the headset into the PS4 it cannot tell that I have a I have a headset hooked up and so now I'm able to record some next-gen stuff and I'm definitely looking for some next-gen games to play and I can absolutely live stream on next-gen because my PS4 is so quiet it is beautiful it is just an angel it is dead silent no matter how long I play it and I love that, but also there's PC stuff, uh, though I'm not a, too much of a PC gamer. I, I, I've played a little on PC, I'm not very good with mouse and keyboard, but I'm I'm not terrible. So I guess if there's anything PC you'd like to see from me, any, uh, I don't really know what sort of games I would play on PC that you would want to see on a live stream or something. Uh, actually, actually no, there's, I do have an idea, I do have an idea of a game that I would really like to live stream, but um, the sort of problem with that is the problem with why I don't really live stream too much, and it's because I have a very small viewer base. I don't know that if I were to do sort of an impromptu live stream without, you know, hyping it for a good while to get people to know when it's coming up and, you know, be ready for it. I don't really think that I could get that many people into a live stream. I don't want to live stream to one person who's my friend who I told to be there, you know? I don't want to I don't want to do a live stream where there's no interaction. I want to interact. I want to have people to talk to during it, you know? I want to be reading the chat and and uh, answering your questions and all that fun stuff. But I don't I don't know if I have an audience to do that. But then again, I'm sure I could build an audience by doing that. So it's a bit of a paradox, but I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens in 2018. That is that's all the little notes that I jotted down off, off my head to make sure that I hit, and I, I hit all those points. I guess this is uh, the end of the video. Look forward to uh, 2018. I plan on really making this channel shine, and I'm hoping I'm hoping I can blow up a bit. We'll, we'll see. Uh, here's to hoping. <laughs> but for now, I'll be seeing you guys later. I'm out.